All right, students, I'm going to ask you a question that seems simple, but think about it. Will this boat move? Pause the video for a minute and think about it. Talk to your neighbor. Here's a photo online of a similar boat. Now that you've seen it in person, will you change your answer? What do you think? Unfortunately, there's no way to test this. Have a good day. Just kidding. I made my own. So you can see the sail on the right, the blue paper. You can see the turbine on the left. Let's see what happens. The car is not moving, but let's see what happens when I remove the sail. Now it's moving a little bit to the right, or is it? Oh, there we go. Interesting. So why didn't the boat move? And why did it move once you removed the sail? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Here's a photo of the car with the sail on. Whenever you turn on the turbine, it blows air to the right, which creates a force to the right. You've seen this before. Think of those swamp boats that have the fans in the back that propel them. Same kind of thing. The fan blows air to the right so that the car would move to the left. But whenever you put the sail there, it captures that air and thus puts a force to the left so that the car moves to the right. When you combine both forces, you get something like this. The fan is blowing the boat to the left, the sail is blowing the boat to the right. The forces cancel out and the boat doesn't move. Now this is intuitive. You can't push the boat forward by pushing the sail. And similarly, you can't pick yourself up by grabbing your belt and pulling yourself up. According to Newton's third law, for every force there's an equal and opposite reaction. So you cannot move yourself forward by your internal forces. If that fan was not attached to the boat, it'd be a different story.